Hello beautiful people. I am doing something a little bit different today. I am going to be doing a just get ready with me type of thing. Um, if you don't know already, I am a professional makeup artist here in Denver. So I um, am getting ready to go do makeup later today. I am not fully ready. Obviously, I don't even have like a good shirt on <laughs> or my hair done or anything but um, I just wanted you guys to be a part of this today uh, show you guys a little bit about me outside of infertility stuff um, so yeah let's get started um, because I would like to leave and go buy things at Sephora and spend money Shh, don't tell my husband usually when I'm getting ready I have um, Grey's Anatomy on. Um, that's just because I love Grey's Anatomy and I pretty much act like they're my friends. Um, I am a different color right now just because I um, fake tanned. I don't know if you can even tell in the video, but I'm significantly darker um, on my body than I am my face right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix um, some different foundations. Usually I use the uh, Giorgio Armani, but it's not my color right now, and um, I'm a little more yellow based. So I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation and the NARS Sheer Glow and just mix them. Um, I did this yesterday and it worked out really well. So I just like to dot this on my face a little bit. Not too much because I really don't feel like I need a whole lot, and then just blending it on there. But I am currently in the two week wait and it's going pretty well. Um, I'm on day, oh gosh, my six days past ovulation now, five days, six days I think. Um, so I have a little while longer. Um, if you didn't see my last video or two videos ago, um, we are, my test date is actually on Mother's Day, ironically. Um, so I don't know if I'll actually test that day I don't know I haven't decided because that just it's already like an emotional day so I don't really care to like add more emotion to it in the case that it is negative I don't like to think that way but sometimes you got to be the devil's advocate a little bit but I'm excited because um I don't know I just feel really good about this cycle I just feel like something is different um that I haven't really felt before just emotionally um, and even if we aren't pregnant this cycle I'm really excited that we got to do like the trigger shot and stuff so that was different and I liked that we got to do something a little different this cycle um, last night I did end up calling the doctor um, on-call doctor because it's the weekend uh, for um, my ovary pain I have had really bad ovary pain uh, in the past like couple of days and so I was just making sure that everything was okay and if I needed to come in I could come in um, but he said it was fine that he thinks that what happened is that I probably ovulated all three of my follicles Sam could you not <laughs> of all rooms <laughs> he's chewing on his bone um that I could have ovulated all three follicles a couple of days ago and then it's just like residual pain um, he said it's nothing really to worry about. If it gets worse, then obviously we have to worry about it. Or if it continues, I'll go in on Monday. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it worked. So, that's all that matters. I look like Little House in the Prairie right now with this hair. Sorry. All right, so I'm going to take some concealer. I'm using the NARS Creamy Gradient Concealer. Um, I personally don't love this concealer that much. Um, it's okay, but I have a full tube of it, so of course I'm going to use it. Um, my favorite is probably the Chanel concealer, but it's also like $45, so I put it in my makeup kit and not in my personal. I get all of like the hand-me-downs of my kit. Like if something starts to run out, I get it, and then my kit gets the new stuff. It's okay though. Um, so I just like to take it and put it right in um, the darkness of my eyes, in the circles, and then I just take a beauty blender and just gently blend it down and then blend it up. Just so that this whole area is just a little bit lighter. I don't like to take it in like the triangle. I know that a lot of people do that. I personally don't like doing that because then I feel like it, um, when my skin gets a little bit oily later, it starts to get kind of cakey. I just don't feel as though it's needed. If you start small and work big, then it's better for your skin and you're not going to go overboard. 
too quickly but um so update on my um group that I was doing with the trying to trying to conceive girls I decided that I wanted to do a community here in Denver um, even if it was just like a couple of ladies just because um, I personally love having people that I can talk to about my stuff with infertility and not feel judged or that I'm like inconveniencing them by like being a downer and talking about you know infertility stuff with them all the time so it's nice to have other people that you know are kind of going through it that get it you know um and so I know that that's really helpful for other people so I opened it up to uh, my Facebook community and um Instagram as I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you've seen and probably are so annoyed with me now but um I'm not going too crazy with highlight by the way just a, like I just like to have just a little more coverage in these areas it has nothing to do with highlighting um anyways I loved the first uh, group there was five girls that came and that was the perfect amount of people I held it in my home um, Which is a little small, but it worked out so nicely and I just love these girls so much They're such warriors. They brought in their stories. They brought in their tears their sadness their happiness their successes their failures and You know, we're creating this community now that we can all be there for each other and love each other through this crazy thing of trying to conceive um, I invited people from all walks of the journey, not just people that are going through infertility stuff, but people that are also going through just trying to conceive. Like, they, they didn't have to be going through infertility stuff to be supported. Um, I feel like it's so important to just have people that, you know, understand it from different walks of life um, or different different journeys and stuff. So, uh, but it was super good. We ended up deciding that we are going to do more than one group we're gonna have a couple um we're gonna do one like every month sort of thing um and make it like a monthly thing so that's pretty exciting really quick i am using the laura mercier powder what i like to do is i like to take just a tiny bit on this blending big like fluffy blending brush i don't use this on my eyes i just use it to set but i like to take it and i like to just set right here with it because that's where I get super creasy and then I'm gonna use a different powder to set the rest of it um, this powder is super drying and I noticed that if I just use this powder then I get really cre like crepey skin um, and it's just not a cute look so I'm just going to set right here and I'm just gonna leave that there for a second so I don't have any creases on this side and then I just like to go in and kind of wipe him down see it's a little much but that's okay we'll bring it up on the eyelid here and bring them up on the eyelid again. Um, I have really fine, like a lot of fine lines under my eyes. Um, for I think it's because I used to like rub my eyes really bad when I was young. Um, but it was, you know, nothing I can do now. So I could go get fillers, but I don't have money for that. All right. So for the next powder, I'm using Lemare. I'm going to use this to set the rest of it. I don't need a whole lot of this just because. Um, more powder for me just means that it's a little more creepy so I just like to gently dot this and just little tiny swipes nothing crazy we don't want to disturb the stuff under it um, but I love this this <laughs> this setting powder is stupid expensive um, I had heard really good things about it so I wanted to try it at least um, but I don't know if I would ever put it in my kit because it is it's like 90 bucks it was stupid. My poor husband, he was standing there with me when I was getting it. And he was like, are you sure you need this? And I was like, probably not, but I'm going to get it anyways. Um, really fast, I am going to take a tiny bit more of the Laura Mercier and just set around my nose. My nose gets really oily, so this powder is pretty dry. Um, like, it really kind of keeps it more dry. Um, so just kind of setting around my nose with that. Just because it's oily. So we don't want oil. And I get oily right here quite a bit. I get oily in my T-zone, but mostly just like right here is where it's where it bothers me. Um, and then I'm going to take a duo fiber brush and the La Mer powder again. And very gently 
set the rest of my face. So I set my face. I am going to now go into NARS um, Laguna for bronzer. And I'm just gonna take like a little, um, this is a contour brush from Morphe. I really actually hate this brush, but um, again, my kit gets everything good and I get all of the <laughs> leftovers. So I'm gonna take a pretty okay amount of this, kind of decent amount of this, just cause I am darker right now. And I like to have a darker forehead for myself cause it's a big old forehead. So um, I'm gonna start at the top of my forehead and bring it down the side of my face, but really focusing on my forehead up here. Um, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm tan today, so it's okay. And again, doing it on the other side. But anyways, yeah, so the group was amazing. I loved it. I'm so excited for our next one. We just set a date. Um, so if you are from Denver and you are trying to conceive, you are more than welcome to come to this. It does not matter if you are diagnosed infertility or if you are just barely starting out in your um, trying to conceive journey. We want you there, absolutely. And we want you there throughout your pregnancy and having your baby. Um, we want to all be able to you know, rejoice in each other's successes. It's not, oh, you're pregnant, you're kicked out. That would be awful. I would hate to be part of a group like that. So we're not that way. And um, really fast, I'm gonna take this and just kind of start on my cheek. I don't believe in contouring, but I like to bronze my cheeks for sure. Pretty good amount too, because this is where we like to get bronzy. This is high points of our face. Same thing on the other side. I like to dot it first to kind of place the product and then go in with a circular motion. And then add a little product. Start small, work big. You don't start big and work small because that just does not work with makeup. But anyways, I really encourage all of you to, to start, a, even if it's a small group, even if it's, hey, I know that you're trying to conceive, we should go get coffee. I really encourage you guys to do that because having a physical family of women or men that are trying to conceive is priceless. I mean, truly, truly is priceless because you have your virtual family and virtual families are literally the best thing in the world. I love my virtual family. I love all of you guys. I love all my Instagram family, but having that physical family is equally important. So, um, yeah, I love it. And having that support through those good days and bad days is so important. Um, we're gonna go into blush now and actually I have like a whole drawer of just etc makeup for myself um, okay so I'm gonna take Tarte I'm gonna take Tarte and fearless I just got this one and this one's not going in my kit because I got it on sale so <laughs> I could keep it um, this stuff is really really pigmented so I don't use a whole lot I like to tap it off and then I like to actually blot it onto the back of my hand or I guess my wrist and then gently start working it on my cheeks. Right now, because I'm tan, I don't need a whole lot of blush, but blush is really pretty. Blush is probably one of my favorite things of makeup. And then I'm just gonna go in really quick with my Beauty Blender and just kind of blend the edges of that just so that it's a little more seamless with my skin. All right, I'm back. Um, my camera died and I had to charge it really quick, so we'll finish up here. Um, my next step will be my eyebrows. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of like powder on them right now, so I like to take um, just like a makeup wipe um, and clean it off so that my natural brow kind of peeks through because they're pretty dark, so. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about when my camera decided to die. So that's cool. So hello again. <laughs> um, so I just kind of clean these off and then I take um, a spoolie and brush them up. I have a pretty full brows as is um, and they're pretty fluffy so I like to kind of keep them that way. I don't like to try and pluck them and tame them and stuff just because it's too much upkeep. Um, but just make sure they're all cleaned off. Cause then I don't go too heavy or anything on the eyebrow product. Cause I do still fill them in just cause they are a little bit wacky. Um, I like to make sure that they look good at least. So um, I'm going to take um, the Brow Wiz by Anastasia in taupe 
and brush through them. Your friend is always going to be this little spoolie. Um, having, like blending everything out is always gonna be the best bet. So I'm just gonna start on the outer, I'll make sure I'm still here, on the outer edge here. And I like to just make sure that the bottom is pretty, has like good contour there, but not like a line or anything. Again, going into the spoolie. Um, I know this is not really like conventional for this channel, but I mean, this is what I do every day. So I didn't know like if you guys would want to be, want to see this, I don't know. So hopefully you don't hate it. <laughs> hopefully it's okay. Um, I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna do it on the other side too. So I really like to just start on the outer portion just because when we come in to do our eyebrows, we always start with like a little heavier hand. So we want the outside to be dark here. It shows a little bit more um, youthfulness because when we get older, our thyroid, or if you have thyroid problems, you already know this, um, your thyroid starts to um, not work as well and so we start to lose our eyebrow hair out here so when you have eyebrow hair out there it makes you seem a little more youthful and they're they're just naturally a little more sparse out there um, and then what I like to do is just so you can see here this is where I used to pluck my eyebrows and same thing on the other side this one's really bad over here so I like to take the brow is and gently gently um, start putting product on the bottom of the front of my brow and then I like to work actually side to side at the front of my brow because of that that bald not bald but thin area and then work up to the top of my brow um, I find that like I like my brow a little better when I do it that way versus what if I go up and down um, I do, however, take it just a tiny bit. There's always this one tiny little spot. I don't even know if you can see it. See it right there? That tiny little spot that doesn't like to fill in. So I do like to just go in a little, like a heavier pressure right there. And just kind of fluff them out. I'm going to darken it up over here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I um, actually take a powder um, along with the same spoolie. I actually really like the spoolie because it gets in there nice and fine. Um, but I like to take a powder and set the eyebrow or the eyebrow pencil with it. Um, so if you think about it, any sort of creams need to be set with powder. So I'm just going to take the light color in that. So this is the, um, uh, the Anastasia dark brown. This one is, it needs a new one. I need a new one. But it's okay. Um, the light color, I'm just going to, I don't really like using the dark color too much unless I really feel like I need it that day. Um, but I like to take the light color and just gently go over the dark. Um, like I said, I don't, I have pretty fluffy brows, so I don't like to be too constructed with my brow. I just like to give it a little more contour to it. Um, I'm going to bring it mostly just kind of like up to like here like the two, like maybe like three fourths in. And then I will take what's left on my product, or on my, my brow, oh my gosh, on the brush, um, and gently add it to the front of the brow. So I just set my brows with the um, clear brow gel from Anastasia, and I'm going to start on the eyes now. Um, I'm sure this video is going to be way too long, and I'm probably going to have to cut so much out, so I'm so sorry, but it's worth it. When I have a client, usually I don't, um, I don't usually go too crazy on my makeup. Occasionally, like the other day when I had blue eyeshadow, um, I did have a client that day, so occasionally I'll do some things and then sometimes I'll just do like some basic eyeshadow, but this is more of like an everyday look, so I didn't want to go um, too much on the eyes today. Uh, I kind of like just more of like the um, little, like minimal makeup type of thing. So I'm gonna take this, oh my gosh. I'm gonna take this little baby, um, eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Um, I got it as like a sample, uh, but it's lasted forever. So I'm actually going to tight line. So this looks so weird when somebody does it. Um, but I'm just going to draw a line at the top of my, on like my top water line, I guess you could call it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just take a tiny bit on the outside here, right up against the lashes. 
nothing again nothing too crazy because we're not going for a crazy look today and then just taking my finger and kind of blending it on there Next, I'm going to do um, mascara. This is the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. I love this mascara for myself. Um, it's seriously like the best mascara. Um, I have really fine eyelashes. I have a lot of them, and they're pretty curly, but they're kind of fine. I have pretty fine hair all over my body, um, except in the places that matter. Um, so, uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm just going to add a nice generous coat of this since i'm not doing a whole lot on my eyes i want to make sure that the mascara is pretty well renowned just mostly on the top i noticed that if i put too much on the bottom i'm just going to do a nice little coat on the bottom i noticed if i put if i put too much on the bottom um it makes me look really tired which is kind of like counterproductive with mascara but whatever so that's pretty much it for the rest of the face however i have not done my lips yet so what i'm going to do is i am going to use mac whirl and mac velvet teddy um these are like my babies like i love these this little tiny look at this cute little mac lipstick that is so freaking cute i had to buy it the guy was like are you sure it's not really worth it and i was like i lose them anyway so give it to me right now um, I actually like to start with lipstick first and then go in with a lip liner. I find that that just keeps it a little more emollient and um, a little a little softer on the lip liner. Um, I can't really talk when I'm doing this. Um, And then I like to take the lip liner and just kind of follow my lip line. I do overdraw just a tiny, tiny bit, but not, not by much. That's it for the lips. I am going to go do my hair and I will be right back. Thank you guys so much for coming with me. Um, this is pretty much what I wear every single time that I go and work. Uh, I know this is kind of unconventional for my channel, but this is what I do as a daytime job. So I wanted to just share a little bit with me of me with you. <laughs> I have filmed this outro like four times, so I will just go for the day. But I love you guys so much. I will see you soon. Mwah!